Quick announcement here. May 23rd, we're going to have a, a programming change in how we do church. We're calling it our summer hours, okay? We're going to be doing a couple of things. One is that to make room for more people, we're going to empty ourselves out. We're going to start offering two services, one at 9.15 and the other at 11 o'clock. The 9.15 service will be in this space. It'll be a little bit abbreviated, and it will not have translation support. It will not have Spanish language uh, yeah, what is it, uh, interpretation or um, it, prayers or those sort of things. It'll be principally an English gathering, English language gathering. And then at 11 o'clock, we will be uh, no longer separating as you've seen us doing for the past year. We're at intermission. The, uh, the, the members of uh, who speak Spanish that go into a different room. We'll be in, uh, inviting everybody to stay. We'll be providing translation support, but it'll be different than what we experienced a year ago. A year ago, I stood up here and preached in English for two sentences, and then somebody interpreted, and back and forth, back and forth. Uh, we are now going to be using headsets, where we have a simultaneous interpretation that is uh, transmitted via the internet, that is accessed on the phones, and uh, so we're going to be rolling into that on May 23rd. And uh, this comes at the request of our leaders of our Hispanic ministry. This was not something that, you know, we as a staff sat around and said, oh, this sounds like a good idea. This was at a request of those who were leading our Hispanic ministry because they feel the, the, um, the difficulty of trying to be the church together, growing in the journey of Jesus together when we feel like we're separating too often. And particularly for those parents of children who speak English and don't speak Spanish, they really feel that tension all the more. So we're going to... We're going to trust God, and we're going to empty ourselves out, all right? So the room may not be as full when you come in at 11 o'clock on May 23rd, because some people will have been at 9.15. We'll just see what God does. But who knows what God will do, right? We just walk in obedience to that. For those of you who are thinking, well, I'm going to come to the 9.15, but I will miss people at 11 o'clock, we will have a connection time in between 10.15 and 11 o'clock where we'll have donuts and coffee and conversation zones set up for you to be able to connect with others. We'll also have you know, some other things that will come in with that. But just keep praying for us, praying with us about the direction that God is leading us, and we'll do our part to faithfully follow where he's at. For those who are concerned about people who are Spanish language only, we have a great partner in ministry. Vida Abundante, who meets in our facility at, at uh, 2 o'clock every Sunday afternoon, has been a phenomenal ministry partner over the last year. And we're now doing a lot of ministry together in a variety of different ways, even though we're two separate entities. And so as they have families that come in that have English-speaking needs, they're referring them to us. And as we have families that have Spanish language needs, we're going to be referring them there. And we're going to develop this partnership even more. Okay? So... Those are a couple of quick announcements. Thanks for sticking around today.